Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video we're going to continue looking at EJS. Specifically we're going to look at conditional logic. To give an example of this let's pull up my website again and you'll notice here across the top I have a little navigation bar and on the right it says to log in. Right now let's log in. Now that I'm logged in you can see it says signed in as me and log out. And if I log out, it comes back and says log in again. So it's changed. It changed depending on whether I was logged in or not. This is done using conditional logic inside of EJS. Let's go ahead and show an example for our products. So let's go ahead and get rid of those products. And instead of rendering, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Kind of put it back like it was before we had any of that. And then update our products.ejs so that it's not actually using any of those tags. We got it that way we get a nice start from scratch approach to things. So now all we have is the title, products, and nothing in the body. Let's say that we actually sell three products. Let's say we sell dog food, a chew toy, and treats. If a user requests those three things, one of those three things, let's show them a web page to buy those things. But if they request something else, like if they request a dog bed, we don't sell that. So we just need to show a web page that says, hey, I'm sorry, we don't sell that. So the, first, the easiest way to do this is probably just to write it in vanilla JavaScript first and then go back and add our EJS tags as needed. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass in product here. It would help if I could spell product. So we're passing in product. We don't have a product here yet, so there, there is no product. So let's go ahead and create that. Const product equals, and we'll do dog food, something that we do have. And inside of products, we need to check and see if we have that. So if product is equal to dog food, we need to do something with that. So let's do like an H1. So if the product is dog food, let's do an H1 that basically just says click here to buy dog food. And if the product is not, so else, we want to say H1 sorry we don't sell that. And as of right now, this is not going to work. And think for a second about why. Because we don't have our template um, tags. We don't have our EJS tags. So we have to determine whether we want the scriptlet tags, which is like that, or the, the um, embed tags, which has the equal sign. Remember, if you want to actually put the stuff between the tags in your HTML, you use the um, equals. If you don't, then you don't. So this top part, we don't want this in our HTML. This is just for control, control flow. So we're going to do percent. Just use the scriptlet tags there. Same thing here, because we don't want the else. We don't want this closing um, curly bracket in there either. And all of this, we don't have to embed anything there. So we can just leave this as is. So let's save. So to summarize inside of our route, we're getting a product that's called dog food and passing that into the template. The template here is saying, if the product is dog food, do this. If the product is anything else, do this. So right now our product is indeed dog food. So if we come over here, product is dog food. But if we change it to anything else, dog bed, and save and refresh. Sorry, we don't sell that because they don't. When this is working, because it's checking here, and if it is, it's rendering this. Otherwise, it's doing this. Now, this is cool, but we need to go further because right now we're still hard coding our stuff. We want to get that from this ID right here. So instead of product equals this, we want product equals request.params.id. So let's try this. Now, right now, we are going to products slash dog food, but let's say we went to products slash treats. Oops. Hit enter. Sorry, we don't sell that. 
slash cats. But if we go back to dog food, we do sell that. So we added this. We're no longer, we're not getting information from the database anymore, so I'll remove that. The next thing I'd like to do is that instead of just dog food, we want to render something for whether we have dog food or um, a chew toy or treats. Those are the three things that our store sells. So we're going to update our if statement. So it's either dog food or product equals chew toy or product equals treats. Let's try this. Refresh. And let's try chew toy. Yep, it works. And treats. The problem is, it's still saying dog food. And this is treats. They want treats, not dog food. So instead of hard coding dog food in here, we now are going to use the percent equals product. And it's product because we're passing in our product right here. So const product is whatever they put in for the URL, and we're passing that in to the template. So let's try it. Refresh. Nope, still not working, which means I probably didn't save the template. Yep, I didn't save the template. So let's refresh again. There we go. Click here to buy treats. Dog food. Click here to buy dog food. And what was the other one? Chew toy. Click here to buy chew toy. Now, obviously, this is not the best because it's got it's lowercase, it's got an underscore, so I mean, we would need to do more to pretty it up when we actually use this with our real application, but it's it's the concepts. I want to make sure you understand. We want to get the concepts down, um, and then we can work on the whole prettying it, prettying it up thing. In this video, we talked more about control flow and how you can use EJS tags. Um, inside of our template, we set up an if-else statement so that if the product is something that we had, we rendered some HTML, but if it's not something we had, we rendered different HTML. We used two separate types of EJS tags. The first is the scriptlet tags, which does not put anything into the actual HTML. It doesn't embed anything in the HTML, and that's whenever you just use the open bracket print or per percentage sign without an equals. And then we used it right here where we are using the equals, and that actually embeds whatever that content is inside of the HTML. So click here to buy that. And inside of our route, we updated our um, product to get its name from the ID that the user is passing in. And then we are passing that in to our template. You can see that there's a lot of moving pieces, and we're getting a little bit more complex. So we're going to continue looking at EJS and getting more practice with it. But it's very important that you get this down, that you practice this, that you try this in a bunch of different stuff. Get this part down, okay? This stuff, this is very important. We're going to be using it a lot. And just in passing, just wanted to remind you, these are the tags that we are going to be using 99% of the time. These are almost always the tags that you will use, either the scriptlet or the embed. There are more, but those are the ones that you're going to use almost every single time. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Mm -hmm.